It is Thursday. It is the 3rd of July. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. Israel launches another round of airstrikes against Hamas targets in Gaza, inflaming a tinderbox of tension that has been simmering for decades. The Israeli military says it focused on 15 Hamas targets. Eight airstrikes hit within an hour early today. Three hit a Hamas intelligence building in Gaza City. Baghdad is reeling from new violence. Bombs exploded in the Iraqi capital on Wednesday after nighttime prayers. The target was a Shiite neighborhood. Eight people were killed. Earlier in the day, Iraq's prime minister declared an amnesty for Sunni tribesmen. Nuri al-Maliki says it applies to anyone who fought against the government except those who killed troops. New terror-related intelligence is prompting U.S. officials to beef up already tight security at airports, particularly for those flying into the U.S. from the Middle East or Europe. An undisclosed number of airports will be affected by this move instigated by the Obama administration. Chief U.S. Security correspondent Jim Shuto reports. They are the first line of defense for the American homeland. Washington. They are North Korea's main ally, but Xi Jinping has made his first trip to the Korean Peninsula as China's president to Pyongyang's neighbor to the south. President Xi arrived in Seoul for top-level talks with South Korean leader Park Geun-hye, where business and security will be on the agenda from Beijing with more on the president's visit to Seoul. David? Well, that's right. It's a two-day visit by Xi Jinping to Seoul to meet his counterpart, President Park. David, thank you for that. David McKenzie, live for us from Beijing. And just adding on to what David was just saying there, in Tokyo, meanwhile, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says he plans to ease sanctions on North Korea in exchange for information on Japanese citizens abducted by Pyongyang in the 70s and 80s. Japan. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Ahead, a deadly foe. Health officials fight fear and ignorance as they struggle to contain Ebola in West Africa. CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Deeply shocked, that's how former French President Nicolas Sarkozy is reacting to corruption allegations against him. He is now under formal investigation over claims that he promised top jobs to judges who gave him confidential information about legal cases and against him. The Oscar Pistorius murder trial is nearing its end today. Sports doctor Wayne Derman is on the stand. On Wednesday, a key piece of medical evidence was presented. Doctors concluded that Pistorius did not display behavior associated with violence against partners. CNN legal analyst Kelly Phelps joins us now from Pretoria. And that would certainly be good news for the defense, Kelly. Absolutely. I think the, uh, the contents of the psychological report have certainly marked a high point. Right. Kelly, thank you for that. Kelly Phelps, they're live for us uh, from Pretoria. The outbreak of Ebola has now forced health officials and governments from a dozen African nations to convene an emergency conference in Accra in Ghana. The World Health Organization says at this point, drastic action is needed. An outbreak of the virus has killed at least 467 people since March. Most Earlier, CNN's Christiane Amanpour spoke to the scientist who co-discovered the Ebola virus. Uh, Peter Piot said, despite the fact that there is no cure for it, prevention is not that difficult. What we can do is, in theory, very simple. Tropical storm Arthur is threatening millions in the eastern United States just ahead of the uh, July 4th Independence Day celebrations. Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera is tracking the storm from the CNN World Weather Center with more on what people can expect this holiday weekend. Ivan? Well, uh, rescheduled events and uh, a lot of evacuations as well. This is just terrible timing here for the United States. Crossing. Ivan, thank you. You're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. The upsets continue at Wimbledon. Another former winner is out. We'll bring you the details in just a moment. It is the ladies' semifinal day at Wimbledon, and with many of the top seeds out, there are some fresh faces looking to win their first major. Jenny Bouchard has made the uh, semifinals of every Grand Slam this year. She's up against world number three, Simona Halep, from Romania. 
Well, we are uh, just under 36 hours away from what promises to be a World Cup thriller. The South American quarterfinal clash between hosts Brazil and their northern neighbors, Colombia. Neither side has lost a match in the tournament so far. And as Amanda Davis reports, the home nation is putting in the hard yards as fans gear up for a feast in Fortaleza. There's only one reason all these fans are lining the streets here on the edge of the National Park in Terrasopolis, some two-hour drive away from Copacabana Beach in Rio. Here. And I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us here on CNN News Center. Stay with us, though. I'll update you the news headlines in just a few minutes.